Hello Stormwater Designers and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions instructional videos and today we're going over the difference between Wim Swim and EPA Swim. So many are familiar with EPA Swim or software like PC Swim where you're going to be doing a lot of hydraulic calculations in it and it can do a variety of stormwater tasks but Wim Swim is a new software package developed by Clear Creek Solutions that, allows, that gives you even more options when it comes to your, comes to your stormwater designs including hyd uh, you know, different kinds of hydrology and then integrating that with hydraulics to really get a seamless process for the stormwater design uh, aspects. So that's what we're going to go over in today's video. If you want to learn more about Wim Swim, uh, you can go to the description box down below, click the link there, and we'll have plenty of information for you on there. We also have instructional videos on EPA Swim if you want to learn how to use that software. So we're going to be going over the two software packages here. The one on the left is Wim Swim, the one on the right is EPA Swim. We're going to be comparing some of the differences and maybe some of the misconceptions about what each can do. So what exactly is Wim Swim? Well, Wim Swim is a fully integrated hydrology and hydraulics modeling tool and it's based off the HSPF capabilities of the software WWHM 2012 and some of the hydraulic aspects that come in EPA Swim. And what WimSwim allows you to do is seamlessly, seamlessly utilize the advantages of both these software packages. So WimSwim allows you to take advantage of all the great hydrology aspects of HSPF, which was then utilized in WWHM 2012, a software many people are familiar with at this point. And that version of WWHM 2012 was adapted for the rest of the West Coast in different parts of the country and comes in many different forms. And then WimSwim was able to take the good things that uh, the hydraulic aspects of EPA Swim that allows you to build pipe networks and sewer systems and implement that in to WWHM 2012 essentially to create Wim Swim, so it allows you to do both hydrologic and hydraulic analysis all in one software and not have to go between two different software packages. And so really quickly here, this is what the Wim Swim schematic looks like. So if you've ever used any of these software before, this is what the opening screen for Wim Swim looks like. It allows you to place your elements similar to any other modeling software. As you can see here, there's hydraulic and hydrologic elements included in Wim Swim, and it has a similar layout to parts of EPA Swim and WWHM 2012 combining and marrying those aspects together to create something that would be useful for the user to use but have all the features of both software packages in them. And if you look at EPA Swim, a similar interface but it's going to be missing some of the options because it doesn't include the degree of hydrologic analysis that something like Wim Swim has but a very similar setup, a very similar uh, outlook here for both of these softwares and so if you've been using one or the other you'll be pretty familiar with using the other one if you use EPA swim it's not going to be too much of a jump to then move to Wim swim and vice versa we want to set up that way so it was familiar to the users and even users who have used something like WWHM 2012 um, it, it's very familiar to you and so you won't have to go through all this training to try and learn exactly what is different between the two it's supposed to be integrated and easy to transition and so what elements are included in Wim swim well, we have some hydraulic elements here and some hydrologic elements. So you can recognize all the hydraulic elements. Those are also included in EPA Swim. So you get the junction, outfall, divider, storage facility, conduit, pumps, orifice. Uh, there's even a weir. And so all those elements and the, the sub catchments and rain gauge elements, those are all included. You'll recognize those from EPA Swim. And then we have all the hydrologic elements that are found in the software like WWHM 2012, the land use basin, the pond, et cetera. And then you can include all of our commercial and pro elements that are found in WWH in 2012. So we have all of them in Wim Swim. And in EPA Swim, it's got most of the elements that you're going to need for hydraulic design, such as nodes, links, and everything that we've saw in Wim Swim. And then some hydrology aspects, which are even included in Wim Swim for the most part. But EPA Swim has some of their own aspects when it comes to uh, hydrologic modeling. It's a little different, but we prefer Wim Swim as it has much more options and is a little more accurate. And so what is EPA Swim? Well, EPA Swim can effectively model hydraulic calculations using a variety of elements. And so it can be used to evaluate gray infrastructure, stormwater control strategies, such as pipes and storm drains. And it's a useful tool for creating cost-effective green, gray, hybrid stormwater control solutions. Swim, Swim was developed to help support local, state, and national stormwater management objectives to reduce runoff through infiltration and retention and help to reduce discharges that cause impairment of water bodies. And EPA Swim contains very little options for hydrologic calculations compared to something like Wim Swim, for example. So we're gonna compare both these software packages here. I'm gonna go into them, actually. 
and we're gonna take a look at Wim Swim. This is Wim Swim here. What allows you to do in this software is similar to something like WWHM 2012 is you have two scenarios, a pre-developed scenario where we generate runoff before our project development and then a mitigate scenario so showing what our project development looks like. This is a very simple project setup here. We have more videos going over exactly what you can do in Wim Swim. So for example, you would run the scenario for the pre-developed and that'll help generate the runoff. And then we would go to the mitigate scenario where we set up our land use basin again, and then even had a model detention pond that is connected to hydraulic elements showing the integration between those facets there. So we have a land use basin. Instead of having three acres of forest flat, which is what we had in the pre-developed scenario of till soil, now we have an acre of lawn till soil and two acres of roads flat showing what we've done with our development. And we modeled a pond using the auto pond feature in WimSwim. And then we added a junction and an outfall element connected by conduits, just like any other pipe network. And so you can model these aspects that are from EPA Swim in WimSwim. Similarly, we can choose a stormwater event that we want to model here. So I'm going to select the SeaTac rain gauge that was, that was set up. We can add this uh, 10 hour December 1955 event and use that for our analysis. I selected it there. And now we can run the scenario with the hydraulic elements from EPA Swim now included in Wim Swim, and we can now see the results and it's fully completely integrated and use some of the analysis features above to look at our data and see if our project is running as we see fit. And so you can see it running here. It runs through all the available rain gauge data for all the dates. And we're gonna be able to view, like I said, some of the aspects of flow and even how full some of the pipes are using the transect flyover feature that's included. So using transect, we can view the pipe flow here. We can also view the hydrograph for those specific elements. So very useful. Now we're gonna take a look at EPA swim. So EPA swim is laid out very similarly to something like wind swim. We have all of our different elements, conduits and junctions, and then we can run the scenario here get a continuity error, Wimswim can do the same thing. And so it's set up very similar. We're just missing many of the hydrologic aspects that are included in Wimswim. So that is a quick overview of both those packages and some of the differences. If you have questions, you can ask us in the description or in the comments down below, or you can go to clearcreeksolutions.info uh, slash Wimswim to learn more about the software package Wimswim. We're very excited about this. We feel like it's a new step in the progress of designing new hydrologic uh, software packages for engineers to use and get better designs. So go check that out in the description box down below. We have that link and we'll see you guys next time.